We've reached Module 4, Topic 1, Lesson 2 through 3. We'll be doing two pages. Our first page is M430. We're just going to be doing 3 and 4 at the very, very top. So number 3 says convert each fraction to a decimal. State whether the fraction is equivalent to a terminating or repeating decimal. Terminating means it ends, and repeating means it repeats. So the quickest way to change these into a decimal is to divide the numerator by the denominator. So like one and two fifths, I mean, that's going to be one point something. So we need to figure out what the two fifths is. So we'll do two divided by five and it's 0.4. So 1.4 is equivalent. Now, is that terminating or repeating? Well, because of the fact that it ends and doesn't, it's not 0.4444444 on and on, this is definitely a, a terminating. Okay. Moving on to 5 twelfths, we'll do 5 divided by 12. And it's 0.41666 repeating. Now, your calculator will probably do what my calculator is doing, where it rounds at the end. Don't let that deceive you, it is repeating. C is 5 over 8, so we'll do 5 divided by 8, and that's 0.625, so that's a terminating decimal because it ends. And then the last one is 8 over 11, so we'll do 8 divided by 11, and we get 0.72 repeating. Then for four, we're going the other way. We're changing these repeating decimals um, into a fraction. So with repeating decimals, so normally with terminating decimals, you can put it over a power of 10, essentially. But with repeating decimals, um, there's this weird wonky thing where you can get to it by putting it over an equivalent number of nines of how many digits are repeating. So for A, we have one digit repeating, just that eight. So we'll put eight over a single nine. And you can always double check them. Like maybe it's like, I think it's eight over nine. I could always double check eight divided by nine and it is eight repeating. B.54 repeating because there's two, des two digits repeating that 54. I'm gonna put it over two nines. For C, for C we're gonna have to do something interesting. So because what's repeating is these sevens, but this zero's like, in the way, right? So what we can do is we can artificially multiply it by 10, and then what we'll do is we'll divide the answer by 10 to kind of balance it out. So right now, we're actually gonna change this into a 0.7 repeating and make that seven over nine, which is that 0.7, but because I had multiplied by 10, I need to divide this by 10, which is the same as multiplying it by 1 tenth. So this is gonna be seven over 90. Over here for D, I have a one, eight, and a five. So I have three digits that are repeating, one, eight, and five. So I'll put over three nines. We have another page to do. We have M445. We're actually just doing number one under the practice. So it just says, identify them as rational or irrational. So pi, Remember, so the definition of irrational is um, it's a decimal that doesn't repeat, doesn't end, it just keeps going on, but there's no pattern to it. Um, another way you might get to an irrational number is the fact that it can't be represented as a fraction, so anything that is in a reduced fraction like cannot be irrational. Um, also, rational um, numbers come from any square roots, or sorry, any roots that are not um, perfect squares. So pi, all of us know that that is a number that keeps going on and on without any sort of pattern. So that's definitely irrational. B squared of four, well, that's just two, right? Because two squared is four, so two is rational. C squared of 18. Well, 18 isn't gonna be a perfect square. 16 is, it's very close. So I can like guesstimate that this value is gonna be four point something but that doesn't make it rational. Like, so the, those like leftover decimals, 
like left, leave it irrational. D, the cube root of 27. You can use a calculator on this if you need to, um, but it's also good just to start learning what your perfect cubes are, like the low level ones. Like this one's a common one you see. Um, a number times itself three times it, that gets you to 27 is three. So this is just three, um, and three is a rational number. And then here we have something similar, cube root of 30. So that's very close. So it's going to be three point something, but those leftover digits are going to leave it irrational. And then F looks a little wonky, one over, or square root of one over the square root of 49. So deal with top and bottom separately. Square root of one is one, square root of 49 is seven. So this is just one over seven. And remember, rational numbers are anything that can be represented as a fraction. So that's rational.